Hey YouTube, I'm back doing another video review of my of my uh, Franklin Neo Classic 2 batting gloves. First look around the glove. These are pretty nice gloves, uh, especially for the price. Um, I see a lot of pros on TV wearing these exact gloves, um, and for good reason. You know, they're pretty. They're nice gloves. They're really comfortable. Uh, they offer nice grip. So, uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look around the glove. Here we have Franklin logo. Um, <clears throat> sorry. They have nice stretchable fabric. The red part is also very stretchable, very breathable also. So if you have thicker fingers or uh, whatever, it's a, it's, um, it'll fit around you. So they're really comfortable. They're real nice. These, uh, the knuckle area along here. This won't focus. Well, the knuckle area, um, it's kind of, I don't know how to say it, but it's like thread that's been, it's kind of, it's breathable. It has holes all in between threads. You can't really see it on the video. You have to see it for yourself in real life. But yeah. Oh, and also this red area around the Franklin sign is like is the same texture as the gray area, the the grip side. So I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. And this other gray area right here, the strip is stretchable as well. So it'll be a nice fit around the back of your hand. The one thing that I do not like about this glove, the only thing is this wrist strap a, a lot of gloves out there the higher end ones have a uh, a neoprene kind of wrist strap really stretchable really soft really nice but this one here let me just get a better surface I, I don't know if I can focus it or not today but anyway this right here this gray, this the red area, the wrist strap is pretty. If you sweat a lot in these, if you're outside batting practice, they kind of get uncomfortable. They kind of scratch up your wrist, and it's not the nicest material right here. It's kind of rough. It's not as good as the neoprene as my old gloves, but uh, overall these are a lot better than what I had last time. So, oh, and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like on my hand. If I can open this, hold on one sec. There we go. And, you know, they're comfortable, you know. Oh, sorry about that. It's hard putting gloves on with one hand. Uh, so, yeah, there you have it. It's on my hand. Um, also another thing I don't like, it's just, per it's just me, I don't know if, it's, if uh, anybody else has this problem, but Franklin gloves, they fit my fingers perfectly, the length of the fingers and the width and everything is perfect, except for the thumb, it's too, like, the thumb is too short for me, and there's a lot of empty space right in the crease of my thumb, I don't like it, and it bunches up my gloves when I grab a bat. It's not very, not very comfortable. That's the only thing. That's another thing that I don't like. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's a nice glove. They're a lot nicer when than uh, the other gloves I had. So, um, oh yeah, if you want to see them, uh, grab me on a bat. This is my Marucci AP5, by the way. I did a review on these. Go check them out. Uh, it's my other video I did today. So, yeah. If you want to see them grabbing a bat, what it looks like. It's nice. You see the gray area stretching where I told you the little strips? They are stretching when you grip them. And overall, very nice bat. They're very nice batting gloves for the price. Especially for the price, actually, because I got these where I live. They're in Canada. They're uh, 
thirty-five dollars. Pretty much wherever you go, they're thirty-five dollars. So, um, yeah, for the price, they're good. Uh, I really like the palm area. It's very comfortable. Lots of grip. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.